Hey, folks. Um, today, uh, well, I, I am going to do another episode of PCG Making Mondays, and I'm going to make a paper game. And by the way, um, sorry I didn't do uh, PCG Fridays this Friday. Wasn't feeling that well. Now I'm feeling a little bit better. So let's make a paper game. All right, folks. How is everyone doing today? Let me check if there's anyone in chat. I can't see you just yet. Uh, hold on. Sorry. One second. All right. Okay, right, here we go. And there's nobody in chat. Okay. Wait a second. This is streaming, right? I'm not crazy. Does seem like that. Let me just uh, double check. Um, paper computer game. All right, there's one person watching now, and it's me. Yeah, check that out. All right, you guys, so today I'm just going to be, um, I'm just gonna be making more of my of my paper game over here. This is Zuvac, the paper game. Here is the cartridge. Um, here is the controller. Um, and uh, yeah, let's see. We've got some characters over here. We got Cleaner Bot, Zuvac, uh, this enemy robot thing for the uh, Cleaner Bot section this power sled it's not a power sled it is a robo dolly um, and here's our cover it is zuvac the paper game um so yeah that's what we got going on um let's see what, we, what else we have so far the paper is not all the same size could cut it down but i don't want to i don't want to redo anything um we got our cover, our select new game versus old game screen, our area where Zuvac starts. You know what I should do? I should make some cutscenes. Paper games usually have cutscenes. I made this area, this is like an area for cleaner bot to navigate. Um, but I should make a cutscene to establish the story. Now, I don't remember what I said in the other game. I, I have the gist of it, I think, but I'm not sure if I have it exactly right. So, um, first and foremost, let me get some paper. Okay, so let's see. What is the story going to be today? Um, well, let's see. Um, Okay, so we want Zuvac to have been a, um, like this takes, this game takes place during his time with the, uh, with the, uh, company. Oh, hey, Yak, how's it going? You're in class right now? Oh, man. Yeah, so this game is going to take place during, um, my previous Zuvac game, Zuvac, The Life and Times of a Clown on a Stick. This is sort of like a side story to that. 
It's so therefore it takes place during the time he was working for the company, like before he was rescued by Zack in the, in his first appearance in Chris's games. Um, so, what does that mean for us? Um, for Zuvac to go on this adventure, something has to go wrong. Um, I think power is cut out because, like, because like this area over here, where Zuvac um, kind of lives, ordinarily, um, this is this is the area within the company factory. The Axis PCGs take priority over school. I can't disagree with that. <laughs> oh man, I'm the worst. I'm terrible. Um, um, but then again, I can't really speak. I never went to school, so um, I was I was homeschooled and spent a lot of my homeschooling time playing PCGs. So I guess PCGs did take priority over school for me as well. Um, anyway, um, so. Um, yeah, normally in in the regular game you can move up or down through these shafts by because Zuvac can like control them remotely, and that's how Zuvac moves around. Like he can't walk back and forth like a human because his legs don't move. So all he can like these are hydraulic lifts. Ordinarily he can lift himself up or down. That's in the regular Zuvac PCG, but in this game, um, that's not the case. Um, so. We need like a cutscene to indicate what went wrong. Like maybe some sort of a power outage. Um Okay, so let's see. Let's say that um not only is it a power outage, but somebody is actually trying to break into this factory. It's not Zack, it's somebody else. This is before that. So, let's say that the, the, um... Oh, we're gonna give a cameo to Z Proto Zuvac 0.0. .0. Um, okay, so, so first of all, let's, uh, let's establish. Our scene here. Let's say, um, we're gonna have Zuvac. Zuvac's hair. This is going to be sort of a side view of Zuvac. PCGs in Espanol says, Hola, everybody. Hola, PCGs in Espanol, aka Via. Como estas? Which is Spanish for how are you? Just making a, a paper game for PCG Mondays for those not in the know. I'm good, thank you very much. Excellent. 
Yax, is this a shot of Zuvax's head? It is indeed, yes. Um, over here you can see, let me like thicken these lines so they're easier to see. This is like the front of his face. So this is like a side view of his head. As he is gazing in surprise at something which is in front of him. Um, let's give this hair just like a bit of a green coloration. What? What is going on? Okay. Uh, Yax has got to love the perfect sphere. <laughs> oh man, thank you. I mean, it's not perfect. I just erased the part that wasn't perfect and replaced it with hair. Luckily, it fell in just the right spot. He says colors. Well, just this one color, really. Um, yeah, so Zuvac is going to be confronted by his old friend who we saw in my previous Zuvac game, um, which was Zuvac Life in Times of a Clown on a Stick. His name is Proto Zuvac 0, 0.0, who I will um, I will draw momentarily once Zuvac's hair is done. Now this is a paper game, unlike a paper computer game. Um, it has cutscenes and you have to press buttons to proceed to the next screen of the cutscene. All right, now let's give this a little bit of metallic shade. Just doing it super lazy. Now let's give it a little bit of shading. I'm gonna say that the light is coming from in front of Zuvac. The super lazy shading. And do some spherical shading on his head. As much as I can, which is not very much. I am not exactly a master in the shading department, as you can see. But shading has a double purpose. It can help you thicken lines even more which makes this easier to see and and like make and by easier to see I mean it makes it look more dramatic if like the shaded areas like they just have like these really thick intense lines it looks sort of cinematic which is good because this is supposed to be a cutscene well maybe that was a little bit too much it shouldn't extend that far forward I think but there should be some shading like on the back and underside of his hair Yeah, it says paper games are a lot harder to make, I think. I guess we'll see. I mean, there's, they're uh, fine so far. I, I, I mean, I guess, it, I guess it depends. I guess it depends. I wouldn't really know. I haven't made enough of them to know yet. The shadow should be deepest over here. I mean, like, PCGs, you have to think more in terms of making puzzles. Um, whereas paper games can, you can just kind of like create an area and just let them mix. I like, but, but I mean, like, that's not, not, that's not really a rule either. You know, it can be just whatever. So I don't know. Yeah, it says you're going to make a console. Uh, yeah, definitely at some point. Um, 
Via says, ooh, interesting. I've been thinking about adding die dice to the game, but I'm not sure how yet. That would be a PCG board game. A and a friend recommended me to use cards to add extra to the game. I mean... I'm torn between saying, it's a trap, don't do it, and ooh, that's a good idea. Because the thing is, like, PCGs are sort of a unique thing, and everyone's instinct is to add in things from other things. That's, you know, natural to try. But on the other hand, like, which which can enrich it, but on the other hand, it can also take away a little bit of its uniqueness. Like, once you start adding in dice and die rolling, it just turns into Dungeons and Dragons, and then, you know, like, what's the point? You know, but on the other hand, um, on the other hand, there's ways to do it that that work really well with a PCG. So, like, if you have a good idea to do that with, yeah, I think it can be a really good idea. Um, Via says, like, not the game master. A player will know what happens next, but are, but are already predetermined actions you randomly choose. What kind of PCG would that be? Would it be a PCG at all? I don't know, man. They're like, this, <laughs> um, this, this gets into, uh, um like what is a paper computer game what are the limits of a pcg who knows who cares what it, like i always fall on the side of if you have an idea for a game and it's going to be and it's going to work it's going to be fun do it you know like the worst that could happen is it doesn't work and you learn something you know but either way it's going to be fun um and it's going to add to the pcg universe Yak says, well, for a paper game, you have to make it able to be played by one person, which, in my opinion, makes it harder, since, in a way, they're a lot more like a computer game than a PCG is. That's true. PCGs feel less inspired by video games, and paper games feel more rules-based. That is true. I guess I really don't know a whole lot about paper games. Like it, like, it depends. Like, I mean, I think some people make... I haven't seen all the paper games. Let me just clarify. Um, but... The ones I've seen, it just, it seems like a lot of the ones on YouTube that I think of are sort of like, like it basically seems to me not only are they made for one person to play, like they're made for the creator to play, so you know exactly how to play it. Um, some people do make elaborate rules, but other people are just like, oh, I'll have this paper controller and I'll have my, you know, like my character jump over this rock and like, th like they know you know just how to do it so it's almost like it's almost more of a performance than a game you know um but they're like you know like i said there's a whole variation and like you know jpgs for example makes really elaborate rules for his like pokemon paper games and everything so yeah i don't know um yeah says pcgs feel less inspired by video games and paper games feel more rule-based yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, paper games are definitely a lot more in directly inspired by video games than PCGs are. Like, paper games are basically like trying to exactly copy the experience of playing a video game. We're pressing buttons, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Whereas PCGs are just kind of their own thing. Um... Yeah, access for a traditional paper game, it's, uh, for a traditional paper game, it's a lot more pages, like a bunch of Balzac Lobotrons. Oh, man. It's more common to see paper games with a lot of pages than PCGs. Yeah, um, so that's what I was thinking. It's easier to make a paper game because you can just churn out a lot of it really fast. You know, like, even if it is rules-based, you just make the rules and then you can just churn it out, you know? Hey, Anstari, how's it going? <laughs> All right, so now. Hmm, should I draw the other person in this panel or should I just put words? Um. I guess I'll just put, uh, w words, um, yeah, but by that logic, you're kind of saying that it's less work to do more work. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, 
But, but like, you don't have to do the extra, like, the more work, though. You can make a short paper game. I mean, like, it's less work to do each screen, so therefore... Like if, like, if you put, like, let's say you put the same amount of work in for a paper game or a PCG, you're going to have more paper game screens done, right? So to make, so you can make bigger paper games more easily, yeah. Um, and Star says the amount of Zacks on screen is increasing. It was two, now it's four. Oh, shoot, so it is. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even realize. <laughs> The Zacks are growing exponentially. Soon we'll take over the world. <laughs> um, Yak says, yeah, it's pretty meta. And sorry, says, never mind. It technically is infinite. <laughs> is it? Oh, shoot. Yeah, because... Oh, but I don't know. Wait, wait. Because... Let me see. Uh, I don't know. I think, like, each one, like, floats to the right further and further, so eventually they fall off. I don't think it is actually infinite. And Yak says the computer can't render that. Very true. Very true. The computer can't. Mathematically, it should be infinite, but in reality, it's not infinite. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Um. Let's put some words here. Zuvac! Exclamation point. Huh? That's a bad question mark. Wait, wait, gotta redo that. I got overconfident with my with my question marks. I love this page. Oh, thanks so much, dude. say let's put a little uh, little uh, green hazing down here <laughs> via Sazak I want that Zuvac picture as a print sure <laughs> um Yak says, wait, Zuvac has a functional mouth? Yeah, of course. I mean, how else is he gonna, you know, I don't know, move his mouth? <laughs> um, Via says, and as a single artwork on the PCG shop. Um, as a single artwork on the PCG shop? Sure, yeah, I mean, if you want it, I'll, I'll make it available. Uh, just remind me. Um... Okay. Press A to continue. All right. And we've got a uh Yeah, because I thought he had something like a speaker or something, but not a mouth. I mean, I think I, I said in in the Zubac prequel PCG that he has like a internal speaker and that's how he makes sounds. But he does have a mouth because you know whenever Chris has drawn him, he's he's given him mouth expressions. He's always like, like I remember in particular, there's one PCG where like the game just starts with me in my house, and my house is just randomly burning down, and Zuvac's on the screen, he's like, Zack! Zack! You have to wake up! And he's drawn like... Like, that's his expression. <laughs> um, 
So, yeah, it says, are you gonna make a paper console? Yeah, definitely. I mean, not not today, but I will make one at some point. Um, like that needs uh, that needs a special something or other. And uh, yeah, so I think this is our the first page of our um, cutscene. Let us move to page number two. Am I out of paper? Oh no. Oh no, I think I'm out of paper, you guys. Oh no. All right. Um, yeah, because I have my old one buried in my room somewhere. Oh, that's awesome. All right. Yeah, let me be right back. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some more paper. Sorry, guys. One second. some paper. Oh, hey, JPGS, how's it going? Oh, sorry, sorry, that sound is addictive. Can't stop making it. All right, so, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, JPGS says dot. I don't trust those dots, man. Somebody's been, you know, like, first, you know, so allegedly Keiko KT shows up and puts a dot in my chat, and then that's it. Then, in another chat, it's, it's, uh, IPGS. <laughs> then the one after that, it's Reality Stupid. Like, all these classic paper gamer folks. All right. So, screen two. We are going to show who is speaking to Zubek, as you will recall. In our first screen, it's like, like, Zuvac! And Zuvac's like, huh? So, like, who, uh, who is saying that? Um, so now let's find out. And it turns out, well, um, let's, uh, let's draw some Zuvac over here. Um, I don't think I like that. It's not big enough. Yeah, definitely not. Let's let's change that. We need a much bigger, much closer Zuvac. This hair is just coming out terribly. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Must fix. It's blurry. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like, this light is making it. Um, let me... Turn down the light a little bit. Does that help at all? Maybe I'll come a little bit closer with the camera. Um, hopefully that helps. In fact, what if I just turn the light off entirely? Ah, that's too dark now. How's that? I think that's better. What do you think, guys? Um, of course, now I can't see. 
But it looks good on YouTube. Um... Making a Marvel Avengers open world game? Nice. And <laughs> dang, that's some luscious hair. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I mean, say what you will about Zuvac. He's got some luscious hair, you guys. Like, everyone should be jealous of Zuvac's hair. <laughs> no one has hair like Zuvac. Seeing Zuvac kind of from behind. Let's give him some metal texture, by which I mean just pencil. <laughs> gray. It's gray, so it's close enough. In my super lazy fashion, I'm not even we're not even trying anymore, you guys. I'm just doing stuff and then erasing. Give it some shading. Some lazy shading. And then some... going to be darkest close to the edges and because this is the back of his head I think that this hair is going to cast like or really the whole thing should be dark to varying degrees actually and this should really cast a shadow how do I draw that I don't know I don't know how to draw you guys like a shadow being cast onto a sphere. That is not my specialty. But all I know is everything is going to be dark. And that's going to solve the problem. Um, and definitely the bottom of the hair is going to be a little bit dark. Because it's this is the back side of the hair. So it's going to be a little bit... And 
there's gonna be a few like So that is my mess of a Zuvac. And so he says, I know, right? He uses uh, the top of the notch gold dusted shampoo. You know it. Um, at least he did a good job on his hair. <laughs> Ah, uh, thanks, dude. Um, well, definitely this should have some shading as well, like that. Should be more spherical. Feel like that probably looks a little bit better. Ah, whatever. Let's, uh, let's like erase a little bit just to smooth it out make it less obvious that I did such a bad job nobody saw that right you guys <laughs> he says as his audience is watching um, okay so that is Zuvac now let us draw his companion um <laughs> the burn. Oh, yeah. I deserved it, though. To be fair, I deserved it. And so he says, now I have to wake up early. Wake up at 6.30. School starts one hour early. 6.30, though? Like, in the morning? That sucks. Um... Now, let's see. Um... How did I draw? How am I going to do this? Because this guy, um, only exists in the digital world. He doesn't exist in real life. In the other game, everything was on black paper, and I used a blue background to signify that he was digital. But now, it doesn't really work. Oh, well, I'm just going to draw him. Um, that is the face. Sorry, he says, LOL, when you have to sleep before 11 to stay remotely conscious during class. Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, all through college, I just slept when I slept, and I was never remotely conscious during class. I just, like, made it through, survived. That's not true. That's not true. I, I did do my best to, to get to sleep early. I still... There were still a lot of nights where I would end up sleeping at 2 a.m., and then I would wake up at, like you know, seven to get to class. And it was like, oh, it's painful. But it was okay, because I would, I would go to class and then probably go to another class and then go right back to my room and sleep for another three hours. Um, back in those days when I was capable of napping. Or maybe it's not that I'm not capable of napping now, it's just that I don't deprive myself of sleep like that anymore. So I, I'm never like, oh, like tired enough to sleep. Anyways. Let's give this guy some hair, wouldn't you say? drawing him from memory. I really should look at what he actually looks like. He is my character, but I only drew him like once. He 
doesn't look right to me. Especially because he usually has a more condescending expression. So Zach relax, realizes Zuvac's hair is purple. <laughs> oh no. Why is his hair purple? Is that just the lighting? Via says, after all these years, imagine that different hair. Um, but for clarity though, you guys, um, this isn't Zuvac. This is Zuvac. This is Proto Zuvac 0, 0.0. And I think he doesn't get any shading because he is, um, digital, so he doesn't necessarily need any. Um... Let's give him a bit of an aura. I think that's the best way to do it. Sorry, says just a suggestion. Maybe make Proto Zuvac look like a hologram. Like how though? I mean, that's a good idea. It's just I don't know how to make something look like a hologram. Oh, you mean like, like put? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm not that good. I mean. I don't know, like, like I could make him transparent, but that's not easy to do. That's just going to come out looking messy with my art. Like maybe if I was a better artist, if I, like I could, um, I could do like trace lines to make it like a Star Wars hologram. That'd probably be a good idea. But again, that's just going to come out looking, me looking messy. So I don't know. Um, what color is his hair? Um, I do not re remember what color Proto Zuvac 0.0's hair is. Let me actually see if I can find it on the PCG wiki. Um, uh, okay, first of all, let me press 5 so you guys can see what I'm doing. And let us go to the uh, PCG wiki. And type in Proto Zuvac 0, 0.0. And there he Okay, so I did color his hair green, but his like stick was gold. Okay. Good to know. Let's get and we're back. Um So let's make this hair green.
So now what is uh What am I gonna color his his stick with? His stick is supposed to be gold. Unlike regular Zuvax stick. Um I don't have anything handy. I guess I could just make it orange. I guess that's my best bet. Alright, he's gonna have an orange stick for today. And maybe if I mix that with a little bit of white? I don't know. Worth a try, I suppose. You know, the light is just not good enough for me to tell if that looks golden or not. <laughs> Or if that just looks, look, looks like messy orange. Wait, where's... Yeah. Sorry. Trying to... There we go. Okay, that does not look gold at all. Um... <laughs> That looks like even reddish. Man. It's like the white made it worse. And sorry, he says Protozuvac be rocking a dual afro. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Protozuvac knows what's up. Um, yeah, that was a that was a nod, like went to to one of my early, early PCGs when I first drew Zuvac. Um, and I didn't remember how he was supposed to look i actually drew him with like the double afro look and then chris like corrected me so i started drawing zuvac you know like this the correct way but you know i made this character you know gave him this that look as a as a, as a cameo it's not it's not like canonically it's the games where i drew zuvac with the double afro that's still regular zuvac that's not him in in story but it's it's just a it's just a meta nod to that um via says looks okay to me thank you via um so now what are these people going to be saying to each other let's say um He says, I'm adding to the Poyencio game as you stream. Awesome. That is amazing. All right, so. Intruders detected. <laughs> Says Proto Zubac zero point zero. They're here for you. Um, get to the safe room.
end. I did not leave a whole lot of room to say press A to continue. But what do you guys think? Should I should I put that on top like up here so I have a nice ample room to put it? Or should I put it down here in the corner? What do you guys think? Any any votes? Anybody have any opinions on the matter? I'll give it a count of ten. Ten. Nine. JP just says the corner. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Okay. And JPGS and Anstari both say the corner. Okay. I think I am like the, the yays have it. So let's give ourselves a nice... Uh, Glow. Nice little green. Um, press A two. Alright, and we have another screen of cutscenes. And, um. Wait! We're missing something. Like, Zuvac needs to be a little bit alarmed by this. I'm gonna put. Like. Maybe down here in this corner, I'll say like, uh oh. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a regular Shakespeare. All right, now we have the cinematic screen number two. Um, and now let's work on screen number three. Uh, what do I do with the paper? Oh, I put it underneath the rest of the game. That was perhaps inadvisable. By the way, these cinematics are like completely breaking canon, cause like, cause like, I didn't think of this, but Zuvac's not supposed to have hair like this, but you know, whatever, I'm, go I'm going with it. Like at this stage in the timeline, that was before Zuvac got all of his hairs, but you know, artistic license, artistic license. It's a minor, just, and this one, this is what Zuvac is supposed to look like. So he's got just like a few hairs instead of like one big bush of hair, you know? Um, in any event. Um, and Starry says he has been modernized. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, he has. Um, all right, what angle am I going to do this from? I mean, I guess I'll go for... I feel like I did this already. Like, maybe I'll, um... Maybe I'll go for an intense perspective thing. Like, we're looking from below Zuvac. Ah. And okay. 
Okay, so that is what his hair looks like. Here is hair part. Hair part two. And Starry says, we need innovation, people. Innovation. Yes. Progress. Science. Innovation. Zuvac needs your help, good folks. possible drawing styles happening over here you guys you want like actually good art you clearly picked the wrong channel but that's okay like that's the point you know PCGs don't always have to be the best art ever you know it's sort of all about, it's more about the, uh, you know, imagination and, you know, just the gameplay, you know, just like you're making, you're making games, you're making, you're creating universes, you know, some lazy metal color, like, the thing is, like, if I, if I take lazy drawing methods and don't really spend a lot of time, like, making it perfect, um, it's gonna get done faster, and that's what's more important to me. Like, I care more about, like, just getting the game out and conveying my story than about the art. And that's really the best way to go about this stuff, because, like, the more games you make, the better you're gonna get at art, you know? Even if you're, like, not putting minimal effort, your minimal effort art will get better and better and better so that then if you try to make something that's really good that is going to be so much better as well so really like putting a ton of effort into every little project especially when they're just these games that you know are just to share with the community they're not really you're not making money off them or anything um I mean, like, if you can make it good pretty easily, I'm not saying not to do it. Like, do it for sure, but, like, I'm just saying, like, you know, if, if you can sacrifice quality to, like, or at least, like, a, you, you, like, within reason. Within reason, I should say. And sorry, says, if this was a drawing channel, the name would be something like Drawing with Zach or Zach Eats Pencils or something like that. <laughs> you know, one of the two. <laughs> Zach Eats Pencils. Man, like, like, and Star, you just, like, you're just making me want to create that channel just so I can give it that name. <laughs> like, that, that, that is, like, the most me channel name I have ever heard. Like, and I didn't even come up with it. Because, you know, pencils are tasty, what can I say?
Yeah, Zach Aids pencils makes me want to change my diet. Oh man. <laughs> Just a little bit of shading. Now, that's Zuvac. Wait, it's line not dark enough. I need some like swirlies. Perspective is just throwing me off. I can't draw swirlies right anymore. Ah. Oh well. The art doesn't matter, and that is my perpetual excuse. JPGS says, "How's PCG news going?" I still need some more, um, some more submissions. Um, I'm gonna put out a video. In fact, I should probably just do that today after this stream. I'll put out a video saying, hey, last chance to to uh, co contribute to the PCG News. I've been getting more um, contributions, but I still need some more. So um, I'll put out a video saying last chance to contribute, and if nobody contributes, I'll just do the rest myself. Um, so, yeah. JPGS says PCG News is like actual video game events. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of like that. But on paper. JPGS says, like, how many? There's a bunch of stories that need to be covered. Like, people don't have to cover every single one of them. Like, I mean, I, like, I think it's, like, if I have to do a bunch of them, I think that's actually a good thing. Like, that was my intention anyway. But, you know. Like, I want, um... I, 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 I think... I want some more to be covered by people. So however many you guys can do, JPG says I'll tell everyone on Discord. Oh, thanks, dude. Um, So, how do I draw, like, oh gosh, I really drew myself into a corner, didn't I? Because now I have to draw Protozuvac 0.0, .0 from below and disintegrating. Ah. Exclamation point. Wait, and a star. Like, so for some reason in comics, stars represent, like, the end of their voice. So it's like he disintegrates. Yeah! And there's the lights above are gonna be like. I 
know how I can convey that, like, the power is going out. I know. I'll just have Zubak say it. Um... Zubax like What the Zero? That's this guy's name is, is Proto Zubax zero point zero, but Zubax just calls him zero. And then... The power went out! <laughs> I feel like this scene needs some more background shading. But only the laziest possible background shading though. Like, I, I, I refuse to admit any like actually like good background texturing in 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 my game. And sorry, he says, ah, yes, the best scenes are the ones that are the most intuitive and self-explanatory. <laughs> uh... <laughs> This is this is like my, watching me making a pa uh, like a paper game is basically a tutorial on exactly how not to make a paper game. Like you watch me and you're like, oh, that's how not to do it. I'll I'll try something different. <laughs> Don't worry, progress equals a graph upwards. Thank you. That is very, that is very, uh, that is very inspiring. Um, hope instilling, I should say. I feel like I need a sound effect here for the, like, how do you spell that? Z-H-O-O-O. -O -O. Yeah, that's what we're doing.
this is sort of like I feel like this is sort of like a manga thing where like sometimes you just see like you know like Japanese like letters on the side and it just but see like I'm doing it badly and also in English <laughs> because I don't know Japanese um nah, this, going down this far isn't working I'll just keep the top ones Good try, good try, but it looks too much like the lights, it's confusing. Are those actual objects or are they letters? Yeah, let, let me, let me, let me get rid of that. And <laughs> inspire people with the power of emojis. Yeah, really, it's, uh, it's quite impressive. All right, so we have our scene, and I have no idea what is going on here. Like, I think, like, the scene quality has gone progressively downwards. I mean, first you have, you have Zuvac, huh? That's pretty good. This is pretty clear, pretty self-explanatory, right? Like, and it gets you intrigued. Like, what's happening? You know, like, somebody is calling Zuvac's name. And then it's like, intruders detected. They're here for you. Get to the safe room. Uh oh, like, okay, pretty, 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 okay, pretty straightforward. And then what the heck is this? What the heck is go is going on? Um, <laughs> I don't even know. Um, like, this guy is sort of fading out, like, I should put, like, some, like, sparkle, sparklies, but I don't have any, any color to do that. Maybe if I could use orange, but that's just gonna, you know what, forget it. Like, he, he just says, yeah, that's going to have to be enough. And he's, like, all scribbly all over him. So it's like he's he's dissipating. And the lights are going out. There's a sound effect that says, Jew. And Star says, nah, man, it's good. That angle is hard to draw in. Yeah, which raises the question, why did I draw in that angle? <laughs> I could have just as easily stuck with a regular angle. But no, no, I uh, never take the easy way out, do I? Um, let's let's give draw our press A to continue. Good thing I finally got a pencil sharpener in here. Okay. Now what? Do I need a, a, a fourth screen for the cinematic? Or is that enough? Um, wait, I just came up with a conspiracy theory. What if Zach was eating pencil because he didn't have a pencil sharpener so he was sharpening them that way. Ah, a very interesting theory. A very interesting theory. And I would tell you if it's right, but you know, then I'd have to kill you, so. Guess you'll just have to never find out. The truth is out there, you guys. The truth is out there. <laughs> What should I do now? I'm starting to learn the behavior of Earthlings. Oh yeah, you're from Mars, I forgot. <laughs> Man, yeah, um, yeah, us Earthlings, we're uh, like, I mean, I'm obviously very typical of Earthling behavior, as you can see, um, very ordinary. Um, and thus I'm a good subject to study for this, for this purpose. Um, what am I, um, Let's see, so we establish that the power's out. Usually it ends on like, here's what you have to do. So what's Uvac's first goal? Man, like, 
it's not like a paper computer game. You can't just be like, okay, and then this happens, and then this happens. You gotta kind of like show it through, through uh, whatever. Oh. Oh, I know. Um. Yes, I guess you could call me a Martian, hee <laughs> hee. Add an interactive sprite, a little cutout of Zuvac you can look around with as the player? You mean, like... You mean like this guy? I made that one last time. Yes. Yeah, um... So that's so that so this guy is my um, avatar of Zubak for the game. But for the first the first uh, challenge is to get a um, is to get a uh, power like a like a, um, a a robot dolly for Zubak to move around with. So you're gonna have to take control of Cleaner Bot. So let's um. Let's establish that. And sorry, says so like you know how in games there's a there's a cutscene, then the game leaves the player to explore until they come across the next cutscene. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. All right, so I think I just need one one more screen to the cutscene because I'm gonna show um, here's Zubak, here's his head, here's his hair that I've drawn a thousand times now, or it feels like a thousand times. And here is Cleaner Bot. Wait, where's? Whatever. So Anstari, after this uh, after this section, I'm just gonna leave Zubak to explore. This is just this is because I have to give a game instruction. Well, I suppose I could have done it. Shoot, I forgot to put an emoji at the end of my other sentences. Oh no! Oh no! Now they're useless. Now I won't know what they mean. Yeah, that's what I would do at least. <laughs> yeah.
Okay, so... Zuvac's gonna be like... Okay, wait, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's draw his text first. Wait! Exclamation point. That... Cleaner... Bot... Still... Works. And then... I'll draw the... Um, draw the setting a little bit. There's act we're actually in a room now. We're not just like kind of floating in in the ether. I mean technically we were in a room before too, but I just didn't draw it, so it kinda looked like we were floating through the ether. Anyways, let's give a little uh, hole for cleaner bot to go through. With lines this dark, you know this is important. Bam. Okay, and then it is going to say... Stuff. such as the following. Press uh, Press Y, let's say, to take Control of nearby tech. And bam, we have, we've got We've got ourselves a cutscene Oh yeah, emphasis at its finest. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> um. Um, I would shade this whole screen, but, you know, once again, laziness. You know? So. Oh hey, Mebo Vibo, how's it going? 
Um, so here is my completed paper game cutscene. Zubac. Huh? That's uh, screen number one. Screen number two. Intruders detected. They're here for you. Get to the safe room. Uh oh, so we have established our goal. Press A to continue. Yeah. What the? Zero? The power went out. Press A to continue. Wait, that cleaner bot still works. Press Y to take control of nearby tech. And Star says, just changed my banner, feeling good? Oh man, let's check it out. Um, let, I think, I think, you know, I made four pages. I think that is a good accomplishment for today's edition of PCG Making Mondays. I think, I hope. Um, so let's gather this up. And check out Ann Starry's channel art. People, people, says I've been trying to get a channel banner. How do I do it? Um, I mean, you pretty much just yeah, you go to YouTube Studio. Thank you, Ann Starry. Then branding, yeah, definitely. I didn't remember offhand. Um, so where am I going? Let's go over here to YouTube. Uh, and what am I doing? Uh, and Starry. You guys can see my screen, right? I don't know why I'm asking because I can't see your chat right now. Let me check. Um. Okay, um, it does not look like you have said anything. Okay, good. Okay, so yeah. Ooh, I like it. The turtle, which is the logo, the, uh, the, and he's holding up like some kind of a, uh, what is that? It's like a staff. Oh no, but it's, it's like a pen with a scissor at the top of it. We've got a paper airplane and like, oh man. I, I dig completely like the the black background like it, it's just looking really good and it's very and starry I, I approve <laughs> that is awesome I'm curious what the origin of the turtle is as your as your logo by the way wow you've got 504 subscribers you outpaced me that's awesome congratulations dude oh uh. Uh, hold on a second, um, Sylvia's calling, uh, hello? You, oh. No, I don't know, thank you. Um, you can't see my screen? Oh. <laughs> All right, well, well thank, thank you for, for letting, letting me know, me. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Um, I have rectified the situation. This is Anne Starry's. Uh, this is Anne Starry's banner that I was describing. The bat black background, the turtle, and he's holding up this weird thing with like a scissor in the middle of it that I was talking about. But yeah, that was really cool. Anne Starry with 504 subscribers, and I was curious about the turtle. And let me see what you guys are saying in chat. Um, you should put Parasite Complex OST in the background, but that's probably copyrighted. Um, it's not copyright. All right. I mean, uh, shoot. Parasite Complex. OST. I'll do that for a bit.
That's cool. Oh wait. Copyright disclaimer. Sounds like it is actually copyrighted, because that's a game, right? So it probably would be copyrighted. Um... Oh, so I guess I'll just go back to that. That is a cool song, though. Um... Yeah, so, um... I saw that anime movie recommended to you, Zach. Awesome, thanks, Via. Oh, it's a show. Yeah. Alright, have a good one, and sorry, thanks for joining. Um, and I don't think I have anything else to, to show off right now, but... Um, so I guess it'll, this is as good a time as any to end the stream. But I think I'll probably do another one tomorrow at some point, because like we missed out on PCG Friday. Sorry about that, folks. Um, so, yeah... Um, uh, like, I'll probably do another stream tomorrow, so feel free to remind me to do that. And guys, if anyone wants to contribute to PCG News, like, I'm waiting for more contributions, I want to get this done. I will definitely do a lot of it myself, but the more you contribute, the the quicker it'll it'll happen. I'm going to release a video talking about that, so, I'm, so I guess that's enough for now. But, uh, yeah, um, thanks for watching, folks.